Hey guys, Modsy here, back with another video, and uh, today I'm doing a cool little PC upgrade. Uh, my fiance's PC, which is this really old uh, A86600K from AMD, uh, the FM2, like this is 2012-2013 aged. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm swapping her from this old piece of crap uh, over to my uh, 2500K on a Z77 micro ATX motherboard that has uh, SLI and Crossfire. Uh, it has more RAM slots, um, more features and things like that, and it's just better so that we can upgrade it in the future. Uh, and basically, we've got a brand new case here that we're going to be popping it into. If you've seen some of the photos of our old case, the old case that we actually uh, that I actually have our system in at the moment, or had it in, uh, is the old AeroCool Predator um, Cube. I think it's the black cube one. Basically, the old case that she was running, the AeroCool Predator Cube case, is just really not adequate, and I've had to modify it so much to actually get adequate cooling, um, because here in, in, in Australia, you know, we have a lot of high humidity uh, heat and temperature in that here, and it just sort of hangs around in the house here, and it was just having a lot of problems uh, with that case. Now, after a lot of recommendations and a lot of reviews and a lot of research, this case seemed to be the absolute best value for money uh, case that I could actually find uh, for her for within the budget to actually do an upgrade. It does have a tempered glass side panel. Uh, it is the black one. Um, and I'm going to be doing some custom uh, vinyl wrapping on this case as well. Uh, but that actually won't be happening until January because uh, the wrap that I've ordered, it was actually out of stock at the time. And um, it's not actually coming in. It's back ordered basically until January. Uh, so it's just going to be built in the case as is with sort of the purple and slightly white theme that she had previously uh, But uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is try and set the camera up in a way that just sort of shows you as I build it I'm probably going to do a time-lapse with a bit of music on it as well uh, while I put the build and stuff together, but um, and I'll sort of stop it and talk to you every now and then uh, about some of the things and stuff that I'm doing along the way so um, yeah I guess now we'll enter time-lapse build mode, so um, see you in the end.
the camera, the battery of my camera went flat halfway through building it and I was sort of running out of time because I've got some other stuff to do today. So I decided to finish off the build while I recharged the camera battery uh, and uh, then basically got it all together. Now it worked together really, really easy. I absolutely love this case. Um, this case is just like, this is probably my most highly recommended uh, like $80 case now uh, in terms of 80 it's $80 here in Australia I think it's like 50 or 60 in America um, but yeah but this, this case is just so nice to build in it's so clean it's very lightweight there's a lot of thoughtful stuff uh, put into this as well so in terms of the cable management at the back now I know that you can see that there's mustard cables and the yellow and stuff here um, I am looking at getting some uh, cable extensions in the future, but uh, for the budget and the time that we had at the moment, um, I couldn't get them in time because Christmas, uh, the guy that I was looking at getting them from, which was the cable mod people, um, they, they were basically, they couldn't ship it in time for Christmas. So uh, I basically just, just, just decided to um, stick with it and I'll do the, the cable extensions at a later date when I do the vinyl stuff as well. So um, yeah. Right, let's power this thing on and uh, see how it goes. So let me just line it up in camera. Hopefully that's in shot relatively easily. And a go. Oh, damn, that looks so nice. I decided to keep the uh, purple LED strip that was I originally had in the old case. I've actually put it back underneath the video card. Um, I have to configure those front fans to be on a little bit higher power. They're a little bit low at the moment. But yeah, um, down it looks really good with the that thin... I mean, I don't know how the colour's turning out for you guys. Let me just see if I can... Yeah, that'll have to do. So, purple fan at the back, purple fan at the top, two purple fans in the front, and the white LED uh, fan in the middle. With the 770. Now I've already configured this. Sadly, there's no purple. There's a little LED button here uh, because we don't have like Aura Sync or RGB Sync. There's the little LED strip here, and then there's the LED uh, indicator, like a little uh, LED circle around the power button as well. But there is a button here you can press to change the color of the LED light at the bottom and the top. Sadly, there is no. There's pink which doesn't really match with the purple. And then there's a pink pink, like a really hot pink that doesn't match either. So, and all of the other colors, like unless you want to go maybe green, to go purple and green, but I know, I like purple and green, that's what my system is, but uh, I think that what I'm gonna do is actually leave this at white, so that there's a little bit of a white accent on outside of the case. Whoops, turned it off. Um, yeah, a little bit of the white accent with the purple on the inside. It sort of seems to go really, really nicely. Um, but yeah, man, this case is really, really nice. But yeah, this looks really, really nice. Absolutely pleased with this. This thing looks absolutely stunning. Um, I'll do you some photos in a second and show you a bit of footage when it's actually set up in, in the office. So um, I'll be back in a second. So yeah, here we go guys, uh, Partners PC is all up and running, uh, I've got to install Windows and all that all over again, so like at the moment it just says missing, uh, good old boot manager is missing, but, uh, oh, not in focus, apologies, uh, but yeah, it's all done, so um, it's on her glass desk and glass tempered glass case, she's going to be really, really happy. Thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'll catch you next time, bye for now.